Sinusitis is an inflammatory condition of the sinuses, which can result in prolonged symptoms for greater than 12 weeks when it's a chronic condition. It is usually treated with both medical and surgical means, and it is one of the most common chronic conditions in America today. Balloon sinuplasty is a relatively new technology that was developed to treat patients with chronic sinusitis. It is a new minimally invasive technique when compared to the traditional technique uh, to, treat these, to treat a certain amount of patients with these problems. Some of the common symptoms of chronic sinusitis are nasal congestion, facial pain and pressure, green yellow nasal discharge, dental pain, nasal obstruction and congestion, uh, and decreased sense of smell. Following surgery, patients are then brought back to the recovery room and discharged home the same day. Uh, for one to two days, they can expect some minor discomfort. However, with this minimally invasive technique, this is limited and they're back to their normal life in approximately three days. Following balloon sinuplasty, the surgical openings remain dilated and, and allow for better symptom relief with patients with chronic sinus conditions for up to and longer than two years duration. The advantages of balloon sinuplasty when compared to traditional sinus surgery is first and foremost, it's safer. Second, it's minimally invasive and causes less trauma to the natural anatomy of the sinus cavity. And finally, uh, quicker recovery, back to work, and less pain. The typical patient that would be an excellent candidate for balloon sinuplasty as well as traditional sinus surgery are those patients who've had chronic long-standing problems with their sinuses despite treatment for almost three months. They've tried antibiotics for 20 days, topical nasal sprays, allergy therapies, over-the-counter medications, and have had no relief. Uh, it's then when they usually seek the help of an ENT physician who then treats them uh, appropriately and then gets a radiographic CAT scan. And based on the patient and the radiographic image, most of those patients then would benefit from a surgical procedure to open up those blocked and chronically inflamed sinuses. Here at St. Peter's, uh, my patients have been very happy with the results and the staff and the treatment plan that we have gone through with them when dealing with chronic sinus disease. From the pediatric children all the way up to the geriatrics, uh, the surgical procedures had excellent results. And when I see the patients in the in recovery room and then even in my office several weeks later, uh, when, when they're smiling, I'm smiling. <laughs>